transform reverse. The reverse notes, you have the option to use the same positions. This way, the modulator will go through all the notes that are being effective and stores all of their positions first. Then it will replace the position values in reverse order with the result that the timing of all notes is still the same. Only their pitch, velocity and length values are reversed. By activating Use Note, End Positions, the modulator will reverse the clip by using the note end positions as the new start positions. The result of that is a true reverse that you would get if you are reversing, say, a piece of audio. Turning this value off will result in Live's default way to reverse notes. With the reference options, you can tell the modulator the reference point to reverse from. By choosing selection, it will use the start and end of all notes that are being affected. The loop markers and clip start and end markers will work for each clip independently. This way, reversing multiple clips with different lengths and positions is possible. Transform Invert. Just like the reverse modulator, you have the option to use the same positions. The note pitch values will stay the same, only every other value will be inverted, which is handy to keep the notes in the same scale you're using. By setting the reference to all available notes, the modulator will ignore all note rows that are hidden by the fold option. Since you can fold to a scale to only display note rows that are in a certain scale, you have another option to keep the harmony and create interesting new chords in the same scale. 